How are we doing guys? All ECB, Leeds 1, Red and Nil, can breathe again. Absolute drama until the end. I mean, it felt a bit unnecessary. We probably could have had the game buried before that, but what a moment for Bailey Peacock Farrell. I've got to start that off with how happy I am for Bailey Peacock Farrell. Absolutely fantastic moment for him, you know, particularly after the last couple of weeks. The fact that um, Marcelo Bielsa said in his press conference a couple of weeks ago that Jamal Blackman was probably going to come in for, in for his place. Will Huffer played last week in last um, against Bristol City and kept a clean sheet. The pressure was on Bailey Peacock Farrell today. And to be fair, we started the game, he looks nervous at the start, but wow, what a save that was. One of the unbelievable pounds he saved. Bottom corner, brilliant save. And um, you know, it's one of those. So we're going to the game now. We set up in the 4 1 4 1. We saw Lewis Baker coming to the team today. So we're up there. Bailey Peacock Farrell, Stuart Dallas, um, Calvin Phillips, Liam Cooper, Barry Douglas is the back four. Um, Adam Forshaw playing that holding role once again. Uh, Pablo on the right, Matthews Click and Lewis Baker playing a little bit further up than Madden Forshaw. Left hand side, Ezra Alyovsky, through the middle, Kemar Roof. And to be honest with you, I thought we started the game pretty well. I think particularly off the ball, we looked a lot sharper than usual um, but than we have been over the last couple of weeks. We were pressing really well, we were putting pressure on that ready back four and we were winning the ball quickly. And there was a lot of a lot of good turnovers in sort of a, in sort of our favour, winning the ball high up the pitch like we have been doing at the start of the season. Um, we had a couple of chances as well. Um, Eshan Lyovsky probably had two good chances um, at yeah, the back post. Hasn't quite connected with either of them. Once a fantastic cross of Pablo Hernandez. There was also another good cross of Barry Douglas. We haven't scored from those opportunities. Alyovsky's had one which is just now really offside, but he missed anyway. Um, but yeah, that, that, but after that, so after the first 20 minutes, we just sort of went flat again, like we had to, done in the first half against Bristol City. Just didn't quite had that same tempo. Yeah, Reading started to get into the game, we lost a little bit of control in the middle, in the middle of the park and we started to become a little bit clumsy of our passing. You know, I think in the first half there was a lot of a lot of more long range passing I felt, a lot more trying to play the ball first time into Kemar Roof. It was a bit more direct if you like. Um, we're still playing nice little intricate football but we're going a little bit more direct than usual in that first half. It didn't really work in all honesty. There was a couple of nice switches from Adam Forshaw over to the uh, right and left wing, also off Matty's click as well. But this didn't quite gel in that first half and we were disappointed with it and um, you know between us me Joe and Connor we were discussing at half time what the change would be. I'll just uh, say that I said bring on Jack Clark and Sam Saez. Um, I always felt that was going to happen maybe not at half time but I felt Jack Clark and Sam Saez for Baker and Alioski was a change. You know I don't want to have too much of a go at Lewis Baker but he didn't quite seem at it tonight. You know he seemed like he was almost um, not quite Hitting the style of play to an extent. You know, in terms of work rate, the work rate was there, you know, in terms of pressing in that lot, but on the ball, he, wanted, he was wanting three or four touches rather than one or two, which is more suitable to Marcelo Bielsa's style of play. But then going to the second half, we make those changes and we start to look a lot sharper. So, the first five, ten minutes of the second half, we're there, we started to get at Reading, you know, boxing him into their own half, making them panic. You know, um, Pablo moved over to the left hand side, Jack Clark onto the right, and again, once again, we saw that plan B inverted wingers, Pablo Hernandez move on to that left hand side to change the angle of attack a little bit. Um, Sam Saez come on into the middle of the park, a little bit different, a little bit different to Lewis Baker, you know, a bit more of a, you know, a sort of a more run at the other midfielders, you know, he will run with the ball and Sam Saez for me does that brilliantly, you know, sometimes their product isn't there but he made a positive impact on the game. We get ourselves the goal, I mean it's a fantastic bit of play between Pablo and Barry Douglas on that left hand side. Pablo, lovely little back heel into uh, Barry Douglas. Barry Douglas gets across into the box. I think Kemo Roof's had the chance, had it saved. And Stuart Dallas, you know, I think critical of Stuart Dallas. We've all been critical of Stuart Dallas, but he makes a really, really good run. You know, he really spots the um, he spots that situation early doors and he makes that run into the um, into the area. Good finish with his left foot, one 0 leads. And after that. You know, we had a couple of little half chances to make it two, and we were looking pretty comfortable. You know, we made another change as well. Jamie Shackleton came on surprisingly, I felt, from Matthew's click. I thought Matthew's click played really well again tonight. Everyone's you know, been one of our um, TV, yeah. Top line. Um, <laughs> cheers, mate. Um, you know, I think he's been one of our best players of the season, if not the player of the season. I was a bit surprised to see him come off at 1 0 up. Um, Jamie Shackleton came on. Jamie Shackleton and Sam Saez, that was an exciting to watch, to be honest with you, at times on the counter attack. Both trying to play the same way, both trying to run out in the midfield and run with the ball and start, move us up 20 yards up the pitch. And then we'll go on to the penalty. Um, the penalty was just, it was ridiculous really how that all came about. You know, we were so comfortable, we lost the ball in the middle of the park. Jamie Shackleton he, he didn't really cover himself in glory, in all honesty, defensively. Sort of let, I can't remember who it was, I think it was. Um, 
Maite um, from Reading was on the run. He didn't really. He should have just took him out to be honest there and then, you know, in, in there half of the pitch. But he ran and ran and ran, 20, 30 yards. The three to go on the right hand side and Barry Douglas, very, very unlike Barry Douglas, I felt just rushed in. You know, I think it's very unlike Barry Douglas that kind of defending. Concedes the penalty, but wow, barely pick up foul, bails him out, and it couldn't have been any more perfect in the long scene. You know, we've got a big game with Sheffield United, barely pick up foul is gonna be full of confidence. You know, he saw what it meant to him when he made that save. South stand fully behind him, you know, it was fantastic to say. Um, yeah, it's just brilliant stuff. You know, in terms of man the match, it's a really, really tough one to be honest with you. Before this penalty save, I've gone Liam Cooper all day long, and I've got a couple of contenders. Liam Cooper, Bailey Pickett Farrell, Adam Forshaw for me. Um, Adam Forshaw, I thought again defensively, I thought he did his job really well, covered really, really well on the red counter attack. Um, I'd probably go for Liam Cooper overall. I thought he was just a real captain's performance. You know, he's playing without Pontus Janssen again, but he really stood up to it. You know, he made so many crucial challenges. His use of the ball was fantastic. He was playing, I've never seen him use the ball so well. You know, in terms of playing out the back, playing some lovely um, passes. You know, the south stand again, there's only one Liam Cooper, fully behind him, and it's real captain performance today. It just highlights the improvement of Liam Cooper this season. You know, we've spoken about Calvin Phillips, we've spoken about Kemar Roof improving this season, but Liam Cooper has made, has made a real, real improvement to his game. The consistency he's producing at the moment. You know, he's only really had that game against West Brom. I think he's been pretty much excellent all season, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, that's, it's really good to see. Big game against Sheffield United. And it's going to be interesting what we go with. You know, Pontus is hopefully going to be back. Who comes out of that back, back, uh, that back two between Calvin Phillips and Liam Cooper? Are we going to see a change to a back three? Sheffield United's quite nice to play two up front. But yeah, it's great to see. You know, real character showing again. And it just feels like moments like that can define careers, can define seasons, definitely define seasons. Um, and it's just something, once we have got that look in previous seasons, it just feels different this season to me in terms of character. Maybe we've not been showing the quality we can show, you know, certainly not today, certainly not against Bristol City. We've got two good wins, two wins we felt we deserved all in all, even if we're not being our best, and two clean sheets. You know, clean sheets, that is what gets you up the table. You know, we, we speak about Middlesbrough as being a boring team, but they keep clean sheets and that's why they are up there. If you can keep a clean, if you, if you've got a solid defence and you've got a 20 goal season striker, you're almost guaranteed the top six as far as I'm concerned. At the moment, we've got both of them in Kemar Roof and the defence as well. It's been fantastic without Pontus Janssen. All in all, absolutely made up. Make sure you let us know in the comments down below your thoughts on the game today, who you felt was man of the match, general opinion on the, on the game, and whether you make any changes against Sheffield United. Are we going to go for back three to counteract that front two of Sheffield United um, on Saturday? Massive game coming up, but I also want to say a massive thanks to all the subscribers. We've reached 3,000, a massive landmark for us. We're absolutely delighted with that. We've done some fantastic work over the last couple of weeks for other sort of outlets. You know, we've really enjoyed it. Me, from me, Joe, Connor, Tash, and Claudio, we cannot thank you enough. You know, it's fantastic to support. I'll stop rambling now, and we'll see you later. I've been Oscar Marriott, and we'll see you later.